In this video, I'll show you how to build a simple price oracle using prices from Uniswap B3. For this example, we're going to need some contracts from Uniswap B3 Core and Uniswap B3 Periphery. The contracts that we're going to need are iUniswap B3 Factory and Oracle Library. These can be imported by installing these packages in package.json. So if I open my package.json, you can see them over here. Also notice that for this example, we're going to be using Solidity 0.7.6. This is because the contracts we import from Uniswap also uses this Solidity version. So we're going to be using 0.7.6 and make sure that you also configure this in your hardhat config. So inside hardhat config, you can set the Solidity version to 0.7.6. Okay, let's get started. We'll set some addresses for the contracts that we need to call on Uniswap inside the constructor. And to get the price of the token, we'll call the function estimate amount out. This function will take in token in, amount in, and the duration of the TWAP, and it will return the amount out. Let's start off by declaring some variables that we'll store in this contract. We'll store the address of the tokens and the address of the pool. So we'll say address public immutable token zero, and likewise for token one. And we'll also store the address of the pool contract address public immutable pool inside the constructor we'll first initialize token 0 and token 1 so we'll pass that as an input to the constructor address token 0 and address token 1 and then inside the constructor i'll say initialize token 0 to token 0 from the input and likewise for token one, initialize token one to token one from the input. Next, we will get the address of the pool by calling the Uniswap B3 factory contract. And to get the address of the pool, we need to pass in three parameters, the address of the tokens, so token zero and token one, and also the fee. So inside here, we'll say address of the factory and uint24 fee. Next, we will get the address of the pool by saying address of the pool is equal to i uniswap b3 factory at the address of the factory that we passed in from the constructor dot get pool and the pool is determined by three parameters the address of the two tokens token zero token one and the fee. We will check that this pool is a valid pool by requiring that it is not equal to address 0. So we'll type require pool not equal to address 0. With the error message, pool doesn't exist. And once we know that this pool is a valid pool, then we'll set this pool to the pool over here. So we'll type pool is equal to underscore pool. The constructor is now done, so we'll next write the function for estimate amount out. Using this function, we'll be able to get the time weighted average price of token out in terms of token in. We'll first require that token in from the input is either token 0 or token 1 by typing require token in is equal to token 0 or token in is equal to token one. If it is not, we'll throw an error message saying invalid token. Next, we'll figure out what token now is by comparing it with token in. So we'll say address token now is equal to if token in is equal to token zero, then token out will be token one, else token out will be token zero. The next step is to get the average tick and then convert that tick into price. This is easy in Uniswap B3. To get the average tick, we simply need to call Oracle library. So we'll type Oracle library dot consult. The first parameter takes in the address of the pool. So that will be stored in pool. And the second parameter takes in the TWAP duration. Here, this will be stored in seconds ago. Now calling this function will return two outputs. The first output will be the time weighted average tick. So it will be int 24 tick. And the second output will be the harmonic mean of the liquidity. 
For this video, we're not going to be needing that, so we'll just simply ignore it. Once we have the time weighted average tick, we can compute the amount out by typing amount out is equal to oracle library dot get quote at tick and passing in the tick, the amount in token in and token out. And that completes the function estimate amount out. We now have a Uniswap B3 price oracle. Now remember that I said that we're going to ignore the second output. If you want to make this function more gas optimized, then we can copy some of the code inside consult and strip out the parts where it computes the second output. To do that, I'm going to copy all of the code inside the oracle library, the function consult. We'll comment this code out and then paste the code here. And then we'll strip away some of the code that we don't need. The part of the code that we're going to need is the part where it computes arithmetic mean tick. And the part of the code that we're not going to need is the part where it computes harmonic mean liquidity. So I'm going to remove all of the code that is not relevant to getting the arithmetic mean tick. Seconds ago is used to call Uniswap B3 observe. And by calling that we get tick cumulative. So it looks like we're going to need this part of the code. Seconds per liquidity cumulative. This sounds like we're not going to need it, so I'll remove it. Tick cumulatives delta, we probably going to need it. Seconds per liquidity cumulatives delta, we probably won't need it. So that means we probably don't need this part of the code and this code. Next, I'll rename the variable arithmetic mean tick. Since we're calling it tick over here, I'll rename this to tick and tick. Tick is int 24, so I'll declare as int 24. Now, instead of calling the function consult, we save a little bit of gas by excluding the code that computes harmonic mean liquidity. Now, before you run a demo, notice this part of the code. To get the time weighted average tick, it subtracts tick cumulative 1 from tick cumulative 0, stores the difference in tick cumulative delta, and then tick cumulative delta is divided by the TWAP duration seconds ago. This is the same equation that we saw in the previous video. Okay, so let's now run a demo. So I've already created a file. And for this demo, we'll get the price of beef in terms of USDC. We deploy the contract on mainnet fork and then get the price of beef in terms of USD by calling estimate amount out. Inside the terminal, I'll paste my alchemy API key and then spin up a mainnet fork. Next, I'll open a new terminal and then we'll run the test by calling npx hardhat test dash dash network local post and we get that this is the price of beef in terms of usdc usdc has six decimals so i'll paste the results and divide this by 10 to the 6 and we get that the price of beef in terms of usdc is 3112 